What's good, DMV Sports Nation? It's Noah Kim, CEO of Sport AI, here with a solo video today just to talk about round one of these fantasy playoffs, week 14, and let's get started. As you know, week 13 was a big one, the last week of the regular season, and let's recap some of the big wins that we had last week. And man, I'm very happy to say we helped 90% of our beta testers make the playoffs, and I hope that anyone else who's watching this video did so as well. Our big breakout MVP from last week that we called David Montgomery came up huge, tearing apart that Lions defense coming up big. And if it wasn't for Cordero Patterson taking a rushing touchdown, it could have been an even bigger day. Regardless, finished the day as a top three running back in fantasy, regardless of standard or half PPR. Very glad that we got that win. And now, our big wins for this week, week 14. We could say David Montgomery again. He is trending well. Will finish the top 10 back. Has a great matchup. But however, we want to highlight two really underrated players that we know through analytics are going to explode this week. Our first, J.K. Dobbins versus the Cleveland Browns. On paper, relatively tough matchup. A division rival in the Cleveland Browns with a decent run defense. However, Dobbins is starting to emerge as the lead back. Yes, Gut Edwards gets carries. Lamar Jackson always gets some runs, as well as Mark Ingram. But Dobbins is improving to be now the lead back on a Ravens team that is desperate to make the playoffs. They are not going to be doing as much of a committee approach as before. They're going to heavily lean on Dobbins. Against the Cleveland Browns defense that, while good in the past, has struggled against the run. J.K. Dobbins, breakout player. Our other one, Jamison Crowder of the New York Jets. Sounds weird. They were mentioning a New York Jets offensive player as a relevant fantasy piece, but Jameson Crowder has been incredibly underrated. With Sam Darnold back, Crowder's his favorite target, and we saw that he can perform against all types of defenses. And in the case of Seattle, Seattle has improved marginally. However, with Carlos Dunlap being questionable and them still having holes in terms of the mid, mid to short round passing game, Crowder has a great chance to score. Will be an excellent play at the flex wide receiver two position if you have him. Some, he's not necessarily owned in 90% of fantasy leagues. He may be on some waivers, especially as teams that have not made the playoffs try to give up and just leave some of their players to the waivers. Check that out. Make sure Jameson Crowder, if he's there or not, he's a must-add and a must-start. Interestingly enough, the Seattle defense is also a must-start defense, but you can do a hedge strategy, which means if you have Crowder, pick up the Seattle defense, start them both. Their, their ceilings are very high and their floors are both high, so it protects you from the hedge, so you have a good Seattle performance, and you can have Crowder come out as a solid flex. So win-win there. Very excited to see what both these players do come this weekend. And now for our fantasy duds. Our fantasy duds, Nati and I have mentioned him multiple times this year, Todd Gurley of the Atlanta Falcons. First off, Todd Gurley is already questionable, and there's no guarantee he'll even play this weekend. But more importantly, if he does play, yes, the Chargers defense give up amongst the most points to fantasy running backs. However, Todd Gurley has really lost a step. I know that the coach has mentioned that he wants to involve Gurley more. However, he really cannot do a lot of those stretch runs which is a lot of the plays that get a lot of big yardage in terms against the Chargers defense. But if Todd Gurley can't get that going, it's going to be a real struggle. He's also being claimed to be more involved in the passing game, but it might be too little too late for Todd Gurley owners. And in this case, a dud for this week. Now, finally, who is our fantasy MVP? We at Sporty Eye know there's a lot of great players that we mentioned before, David Montgomery. We can go with the classics, but however... Our fantasy MVP this week is Mike Evans of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. First off, there's, he's starting out of the week questionable, but as it is almost guaranteed to be a maintenance day. He's been listed on the questionable list every Wednesday for the past couple weeks now. Come back and play. He's finding a lot of injuries. That bye week came at the perfect time for him to rest up for the entire receiver receiving core to rest up. And now they go against a Vikings defense that is very weak against the pass. Evans is almost the unquestioned red zone target. 
is top five in the entire league in terms of receiving touchdowns. Won't change this weekend. Mike Evans has a great matchup against a team that is very short on good defensive back play. They have Godwin, if not healthy. They have Anthony Miller. They have Antonio Brown, Gronkowski. A lot of targets that will take away. There won't be a one-on-one -on -one against them, like against the Rams. But even then, Evans, with his red zone targets, can sal always salvage a day from a low target perspective. So Mike Evans, our fantasy MVP for this week. And don't worry, starting from next week, we'll be going back to the format with Nati and I talking and debating about our different fantasy plays. But here, from my end, um, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you're interested in signing up for the mobile app beta for Sporty Eye, as we always say in every video, Sporty Eye is a mobile app integrated with artificial intelligence that helps optimize your fantasy sports lineups and helps anyone understand sports analytics. So if you're more interested in learning about the breakout letter, some of our data, and how we had 90% of our beta testers make playoffs and finish in top three in their entire league with the average league winnings of over $600, check out the bio below and make sure to follow DMV Sports Zone for any of your DMV sports needs. Again, this is Noah Kim. Hope this data finds yourself valuable. And now that it's round one of playoffs, that you can clutch your way all the way to a championship.